Hi beautiful and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be talking about a few tips for weight loss. So I've been on a weight loss journey for about seven weeks, maybe eight weeks now, I'm not too sure. Um, I started, um, a, well I kind of did a video about the journey that I've been on so far and today I just wanted to sit down and talk about a few kind of weight loss tips to help you kind of keep going. Um, especially when you're feeling like nothing's really happening, or you've, whether you're plateauing in your weight loss. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get on into the video. If you're new to my channel, then consider subscribing if you enjoy anything beauty related. I do lifestyle videos, so, so I do stuff like self-help, self-growth. Um, and also weight loss stuff as well um, and if you're already subscribed thank you so so much as always and let's just get on into the video going to be probably the what I'll do is actually I will go through them and then the best one that I feel like has worked for me well I'll leave to the end because I'll kind of like build up to it um, but the first one that I'll talk about is so if you are trying to lose weight and you know that you have to eat better, you know you have to exercise, the best kind of way is to start off small. Um, if you are someone like me who at the beginning of all of this hated working out, like to like with a passion, I hated it so much. Um, you just want to start try to start doing things very very slowly in small amounts okay so maybe go for a walk a couple of days a week or if you enjoy doing certain things do that a couple of times a week um never put pressure on yourself that you have to do it every day um if you know what your body type is which i did a video about my weight loss journey and i spoke a bit more about that so if you wanted to have a look at that video it's a few videos ago and you can kind of work out like what your body type is um, I'm an endomorph, so I really struggle to lose weight, uh, especially around my midsection. Um, and I feel like I have to do a lot more working out than the usual person or someone that isn't an endomorph. So I kind of started off, started off going jogging with my friend, and it was really, really good for motivation. If you have someone that wants to do it with you, it's such a good idea to do because you can kind of help each other through it and after that you kind of get into a bit of a role and then you can start doing it on your own you can find ways of maybe going to classes or just doing jogging on your own going for walks on your own if you have a running machine or anything like that a treadmill whatever um i then started to do um i had a treadmill so i started to do that every day for 20 minutes and each day i just try to push myself a little bit more and do five minutes more the best thing is, like I say, to not put pressure on yourself. Do it a little bit at a time. Same with food. If you really do eat, I wouldn't say badly, but if you enjoy eating like fast food or you like your chocolate, that's fine. It's just a case of cutting down and um, everything in moderation. You can eat things that you want in moderation. Like I always have Saturday and Sunday as my kind of like off days with exercise, with food. Um, you still kind of want to watch the amount you eat. Obviously, like binging if you want to do that that's fine but binging is obviously going to be a thing that kind of pulls you back a little bit um so just kind of watch the amount you're eating but still enjoy what you're eating like it's all about enjoying it and that is kind of the whole point of it you don't want to make it feel like it's such a strict regime and that it's not fun and it just seems a bit of a slog and when you don't enjoy it you kind of you, don't, you feel like you're trying to get somewhere and once you get there, that's it. You're going to be happy. But you kind of need to maintain this as well. Um, so you want to change your lifestyle. You want to eat better in the week or do a bit of exercise here and there. Get it into a good habit as well. Um, and yeah, just do it because you want to feel better and you just want to be healthy. Don't do it because you need to lose weight and then you're going to stop and go back to normal. Because likely you're going to kind of put it all back on you want to get into like a healthy mindset with it a positive mindset and don't put too much pressure on yourself okay <laughs> so that is the first one the second tip is to just drink as much water as you can so i tend to drink or try to drink two liters of water a day i don't always drink two liters of water a day but my main drink is water like i'll have tea coffee water um, you want to just try and get this in as much as possible it having water in the morning it just kind of like refreshes you gets you feeling motivated and I feel like all throughout the day it just kind of keeps you 
feeling better feeling less sluggish like if you've got to drink fizzy drinks and stuff like sometimes to be fair fizzy drinks are the worst like if you want to try and lose weight but yeah drinking water will help with your hair your nails your skin um also it helps with like water weight like when your body keeps hold of it when there's not enough water in your body um and yeah it's just probably one of the, the first things if you're trying to become healthier to start with be kind of getting into a habit with drinking water in the morning making sure you drink maybe a pint of water before like, i think it's like half an hour before you eat that will fill you up um and also as well a lot of the time if you are feeling hungry most of the time it is because you are thirsty so if you drink water then your body will kind of understand when it's actually hungry and the more that you do all of this the more you kind of get an understanding of how your body's working and um you can listen to your body as well and see whether it is hungry whether it's just thirsty you'll start to know the signs more and you'll be a lot more mindful with what you're eating so the third tip that I'm going to talk about, and I'm going to try not to say that every single time because that's getting annoying, <laughs> um, is to just be good to yourself. Just be positive with it. Like I say with the first one, you want to create a positive connection with this like weight loss journey. Like I say with lifestyle, instead of diet, I hate diet. I like the lifestyle change because you're making a conscious effort to become healthier you don't have to go full force straight away with everything um especially if you do like to eat a lot of things that aren't that good for you um it kind of just puts a lot of pressure on you and then you end up not you you end up not doing it or keeping to it so yeah you just want to keep a healthy mindset a positive mindset and just make sure that you are enjoying every bit of it so whether you enjoy getting up and you know having i don't know like a homemade granola with yogurt like you enjoy eating all these things vegetables having more vegetables like you enjoy it find ones you actually enjoy eating and eat more of them um exercise as well i kind of put this into a trying to positive habit or something that i enjoy doing so i enjoy the the peace and quiet and the time to reflect or i might listen to music or listen to a podcast whilst i'm running and it's just a time for me to be kind of on my own and just chill out and relax and i created a positive sort of a connection with that so whenever i do it i don't feel like i'm doing it for the sake of it or i'm like oh i can't be bothered it's kind of like a me time thing and i've establish that like healthy habit with it so it's definitely something that you want to just try and stay positive about and just be good to yourself if you have had a bad day eating you haven't exercised that's fine like the next day you do it again and even if the next day you haven't you've done it again you just think right i'm just going to keep trying every single morning i wake up i'm going to start with water i'm going to start eating better just all the time in your mind just keep thinking okay i'm gonna do my best that's all you can do and if you do slip off every now and again that's fine like, like say for example with me i've done it like seven and eight seven to eight weeks you then have had more good days than bad so if i have a few bad days i know that the good are going to outweigh those bad and i can get back on it say for example at the weekend i'll get back in back on it on the monday and then i'll keep going okay you might be pulled back a little bit but you are less pulled back than the time that you or when you started and you hadn't done any exercise and you hadn't eaten healthy okay you're going to always be better the further you go along and the more time that goes on the better you are with everything and then also the i don't want to say that you feel bad but like you kind of feel you've done so good that when you do something slightly bad you you are you're like right okay i don't want to do that because i've done so well whereas before when you hadn't done anything you wouldn't have that kind of like guilt thing you wouldn't be like right okay i need to make a conscious effort tomorrow but the more that you do it the more you'll have that and then that creates a healthy habit with actually exercising and eating better as well so the next tip is to or well, this is okay this is probably not a tip i don't know this is more of like advice okay when it comes to weight loss right you are gonna feel your weight loss you are gonna see your weight loss you're also going to be measuring as well so measuring your bust your arms your waist everything you're gonna see the weight loss there more so than you will on the scales scales are, are good for getting a, a general like indication of 
you know how much you've lost and if you do that maybe like every couple of weeks or if you can go a month that is so much better um if you do it weekly or say every couple of days you are going to see a lot of fluctuation so you're going to see water water weight coming on and off you're going to have binge days and you're going to see that weight come back on then but then you might have a couple days and that might be gone because of the water weight or gone because you've exercised and and you've all that food that you've binged you've worked off um you it kind of makes you feel bad when you look at that and you think oh god i've put on two pounds since yesterday but like i say it's water weight and you get this thing in your mind that you're constantly battling against the scales if you are doing it every couple of weeks or every once a month you're going to see a lot of a bigger change and you're going to feel a lot better about it it's just going to become um a more accurate kind of number and when you do measuring it's going to be so much more accurate as well because you're actually me measuring the um like the fat you know what i mean you you're being weighed when you're weighed it's just if you're if you're a woman and you come on your period or anything like that you're gonna have so much more water retention than you do then when you're not on your period it's just going to be a fact and you're going to feel a bit when you're on your when you're on your period anyway you're going to feel a little bit bloated and that is all normal for us girls it's just the way that it is and you don't want to feel bad about those scales just because of those situations that that's not anything that's reflecting off of how you've done weight loss wise that's just how your body is kind of back and forth fluctuate fluctuation and guys don't have that okay you guys will probably lose weight or see the scales a lot more accurate because they don't have all of these things that we kind of have month to month unfortunately <laughs> so yeah like i say weighing um just be very mindful about it measuring is going to be your key and also just looking in the mirror you will start to notice the thing that i've noticed is that i have been doing like a, a healthy lifestyle change so i haven't drastically cut everything out or I haven't drastically like exercised to like all day or whatever i haven't gone like full in um, but I'm slowly losing weight, which means that it will it will be more likely to to stay off than for it to come back. Um, and I I don't look in the mirror and think, oh my god, I've lost so much weight. But I look in the mirror and think, uh, like the whole of my body is slowly shrinking down, like everything is slowly shrinking down. Whereas sometimes when you do it, I don't know you some people just don't eat or they have one meal a day for a couple of weeks and you will lose the weight quickly you'll notice it in other areas where you first lose weight you might see it in your like legs at first and then your stomach and then your arms because you're kind of drastically cutting things out and it, you are losing so much weight which is fine but that is also less likely for you to keep it off whereas if you do it slowly and you're losing one to two pounds a week which is healthy and you are just having a healthy lifestyle change just making your, your portion smaller you will see it as a whole and your whole body will just start slowly shrinking down which is exactly what i see in the mirror everything looks kind of the same as it did but just is slightly shrinking in like it's not like oh i've lost so much off of my stomach or oh i've just lost so much of my legs like it is slowly all coming off which i kind of preferred i went through a bit of a phase where it was really upsetting me um, because i didn't see a lot of um progress as such but like i say it is kind of like a collective thing and it's going down slowly which is good i hope the camera's not changed because it just turned off again anyway so the last tip and the best one that i'm going to share with you is intermittent fasting okay you've probably heard this so many times um, you probably see it on youtube a lot it is one of the best ways to lose weight probably the mo the most successful way to lose weight i would say because when you're eating um your diet and stuff like that it depends what body type you have but you have this struggle of plateau for one of weight where your body just gets used to what you're eating and then you stop losing weight um also sometimes if you you really minimalize the calories your body can go into shock and starvation mode and um hold on to every bit of fat that you have and store it so there is always that okay so with intermittent fasting what you do is you have you can do 14 hours you can do 15 16 whatever 16 is the most popular one to do so what i will do is i, will, I have an app called which 
and check on my phone because it's really really good um it's called zero so what you do is it kind of gives you pick whatever fast you want to do like how many hours i usually go for 16 and i will stop eating at seven so this is a normal day okay so i'll have my breakfast lunch dinner and after dinner i will stop eating at about seven o'clock so for a 16 hour fast i'll go all the way through from obviously seven to when i go to bed i'll be asleep i'll wake up maybe at like seven and i won't eat until 11 10 or 11 like it's not like you have to always do 16 hour fast not at all that is your fast so a lot of people there are people that do 24 hour fast which i find mad or people that might do like one meal a day that is extreme i feel like and not particularly healthy um but i feel like with you when you do a 16 hour fast and you stop about seven it's probably the most normal way of doing it because if you are putting on weight still or you just put on weight and you haven't exercised or anything like that um the worst time to eat is before bed obviously as we know and um, we can't burn it off you know we're sleeping and it's just best to stop eating a, a few hours before you go to sleep so if you want to do that it's best to do your fast from seven eat finish seven go through the evening it's not as bad the, the, you do it the first couple of days you think oh my god i'm so hungry you're bored most of the time anyway um, and then gradually as it goes on you just become like more accustomed to it it doesn't seem like such a such a shock anymore and you get used to it um so yeah i will then go to bed and then i wake up and then i'll have a pint of water so when you're fasting you can have tea coffee water make sure you have no milk and no sugar in your tea and coffee just kind of black um and yeah that's kind of what you are allowed to do when you're fasting so as soon as you wake up in the morning drink a pint of water which is also really good for you have your green tea which is great for your metabolism as well which is something i didn't talk about but i'll talk about now green tea is great to like kickstart your metabolism if your metabolism is really slow like mine is um it's a great way to kind of keep it or get it up and running so for throughout the day you can burn off everything that you are eating um so yeah have your green tea chamomile tea coffee whatever it may be just don't have any milk in it no sugar and as soon as your fast is up you can eat and the best thing to eat is something healthy so whether that's going to be like fruit bowl or you want to eat i don't know scrambled eggs something healthy to break your fast is brilliant so i'll do this maybe two to three times a week um i did it for like a, i think i did it for like a week once and it's it is by far the best thing to do you're just making sure that you aren't overeating and eating when you're bored is also creating um it's kind of making your mind get used to not having to eat because you're like bored or you're only eating because you need to eat and your stomach after a while starts to shrink anyway so you won't need as much food your body will start getting used to what you give it and you won't need as much food as you did before anyway and this is just a great way of kind of cleansing and you know keeping your body keeping your body ticking over okay keeping that metabolism kicking over and yeah it is i have just seen more results doing that and i feel i don't know i feel a lot less sluggish and stuff because of it i just feel like it has helped me massively and I have seen a lot of videos on YouTube with a lot of people saying the same thing. So if you are trying to lose weight and you're struggling at all or you just need some advice, that is probably one of the best I've come across. So yes, that is the end of this video. I really hope that you found it helpful. If you are on your weight loss journey, then keep going. You're doing amazing and it's just a journey. It's a journey, okay? We're not trying to get to anywhere. We're just keeping on going, making it a part of our life and creating healthy habits and if you aren't or if you have just started or you're about to start then i wish you all the best okay you can do it and all you have to do is like i said before just be positive about it and enjoy doing it enjoy everything that you're doing eating exercise all of it okay just enjoy it so yes that is the end of this video like i just said if you are new to my channel then consider subscribing if you enjoy anything like this anything beauty anything self-care and all of that if you enjoy it then 
subscribe and click the notification bell is completely up to you but i would love to have you on board and if you are already subscribing thank you so so much as always and i will see you all in my next one bye guys